In the heart of Mexico, where the ancient Aztec civilization once gazed upon the reflection of its gods in sacred lakes, there still lives a creature that defies the laws of time and nature. Among the canals of Xochimilco, gliding between lilies and shadowed waters, moves a being suspended between dream and reality. The axolotl, Ambistoma mexicanum, the dragon that chose never to grow up. Its name comes from the Nahuatl language and unites two ancient words, ATL, meaning water, and Zolotl, meaning monster or god. Together they mean the water monster, or, more poetically, the god who dwells in the water, a mythical name for a creature that unites biology and legend. The axolotl is endemic, meaning it exists nowhere else on Earth. Its natural realm was once a vast system of high-altitude lakes surrounding present-day Mexico City, an immense body of fresh water once known as the Valley of Anahuac. In this liquid labyrinth, the axolotl glided through aquatic plants, algae, and roots, moving with hypnotic grace. Today, however, its world has almost vanished. The lakes of Texcoco, Chalco, and Xochimilco were gradually drained, first by the Spanish conquistadors and later by modern urban expansion. What remains is a network of artificial canals, fragile echoes of a once grand ecosystem. Within these canals, where the traditional floating gardens called chinampas still survive, the axolotl endures, fragile, solitary, a ghost of an age when Mexico was a garden of water. The axolotl belongs to the order Uridella, like salamanders and newts, but you know, its biological uniqueness really sets it apart from every other amphibian known to science. Normally, a salamander begins its life in water as a larva, then undergoes metamorphosis. It loses its gills, develops lungs, and adapts to life on land. The axolotl, however, refuses this metamorphosis. It remains forever aquatic, keeping its external feathery gills its smooth, gelatinous skin and an air of eternal youth. This phenomenon is called neoteny, literally, the preservation of youth. What makes the axolotl truly extraordinary, though, is its ability to regenerate. When it loses a limb, a tail, or even part of an organ, it doesn't scar. It regrows. And not just simple tissues. The axolotl can regenerate complex structures, including its spinal cord heart retina, and even portions of its brain. Scientists have discovered that this ability is due to the reactivation of stem cells, which behave as though the body were still in an embryonic state. Every wound becomes a message of rebirth, as if its body speaks a language of healing long forgotten by other living beings. For this reason, the axolotl has become one of the most studied organisms on the planet, central to research in biology, genetics, and regenerative medicine. Its genome is actually one of the longest ever sequenced, with over 32 billion base pairs that's about 10 times the size of the human genome. Hidden within this vast genetic code are secrets that, well, may one day transform science. Despite its divine aura, the axolotl is a gentle, reserved creature. It's nocturnal, spending most of the day still, hidden among shadows and aquatic plants. Then, at night, it awakens and glides silently along the canal beds. The axolotl doesn't have true teeth, but instead it has a soft, flexible mouth used to suction up small prey larvae, crustaceans, worms, insects, and, every now and then, tiny fish. Its thin, permeable skin makes it extremely sensitive to changes in water quality and chemistry, making it a perfect bio-indicator of environmental health. Where the water is pure, the axolotl thrives, but where it is polluted, it disappears. In the wild, its lifespan is usually around five to six years though in captivity it can live up to 15, especially in cool, well-oxygenated water. Its delicate gills shimmer like petals, filtering oxygen and painting pink ripples around its head. Every movement seems a slow dance between dream and water. The Aztecs told that, at the dawn of the world, the gods gathered in Teotihuacan to sacrifice themselves and bring the sun and moon to life. All accepted, except one, Zolotl, the god of fire, twins, and transformation. Terrified of his fate, he fled into the world, transforming first into corn, then into agave, and finally into a gentle aquatic creature, the axolotl. The gods found him anyway and condemned him to live forever between two worlds, life and death change and stillness. From then on, the axolotl became the symbol of sacrifice denied of metamorphosis, interrupted of life suspended. In this myth, Biology and spirituality converge, the creature that refuses to grow is also the god who refuses to die. Today the axolotl is, well, critically endangered. Its ancient waters are poisoned by pollution, urban runoff and pesticides. 
invasive species like carp and tilapia devour its eggs and compete for its food. Back in the 1990s, scientists estimated thousands of individuals per square kilometer. But now, in the wild, only a few dozen remain. Its natural habitat has shrunk to just a handful of protected canals, while the rest of the population survives in captivity, in aquariums, laboratories, and conservation centers. Yet, you know, its story is not one of defeat. The Mexican government, together with biologists and local communities, has launched ecological restoration projects in Xochimilco's canals, striving to return the water dragon to its ancestral home. Each time a baby axolotl is born in these restored waters, it is as if the legend awakens once more. Today, the axolotl has become a global icon. It is studied by scientists, admired by artists, and cherished by young generations as a symbol of resilience and rebirth. In its eternal smile, many see a metaphor for hope, the ability to remain oneself even as the world changes. The axolotl teaches us that strength does not always lie in transformation, but in resistance, in the quiet courage of staying true to one's nature. It is the image of a world that has not forgotten its youth, of a life that can always begin again. The axolotl is more than an animal. It is a breathing legend, a window into what nature still has to teach us. It is living proof that the border between science and myth is not a line, but a current of water, flowing, reflecting, connecting. When you watch it drift slowly through the water, its gills swaying like feathers of light, you feel as though you are gazing at the soul of Mexico itself, ancient, mysterious, indestructible. The axolotl is the dragon that never stopped dreaming, and perhaps, by looking at it, we remember that we too, like it, can be reborn.